he's got to take them out before they take him out. But since he's not doing that, we, the American people, have to rise up in his defense. And that's what we're doing, you and I and others, patriots. And you're right. You know, when you do that, you don't go on established cable networks. You have to talk to the American people directly. And that's why if we do this together, Alex, citizens grand juries, we're going to show the American people that they have the power, that it's not the people, the corrupt reestablishments of both political parties in Washington, D.C., or our corrupt judges on the bench. And most of them, frankly, are corrupt. The president was right when he makes those statements. First president in my lifetime who will call it like it is with regard to the federal judiciary. Most of them are political hacks. There are some good ones, but I've only met maybe four or five in my entire 41-year career. Live from Central Texas, broadcasting worldwide. If you've studied history, you know history's happening right now. Larry Clayman's our guest. We'll have him back up very soon. We're developing some plan for a citizen grand jury, at least to do it legally and lawfully, to focal point on the crimes that have been committed. Uh, it'll only do good. But we have leadership with Trump and somebody who's pragmatic, pro-free market, isn't out to get the country. That alone has turned the country around. And that's the globalist's biggest problem is things are turning around. But then you've got the traitor class, the elitist class, uh, that have been groomed because they're sellouts in both political parties who know their end is close, so they're throwing everything they've got at us right now. In ways, it's waking people up faster, but I don't want to be too overconfident and think that we're going to win this thing. We need to talk about what we do to win it, but uh, just the epicness of history, the, how the communist Chinese are literally involved in everything. Russia, in my experience, has almost no influence. I'm not a Russophile. I've never been there. I just study the facts. Uh, but that just makes me ashamed for the average American who I love not realizing who's on the fence that it really is messianic that Trump with his bullheadedness and his, and his stubbornness and uh, all the things that patriots, myself, Ron Paul, Larry Klayman, you know, back to Barry Goldwater, uh, all the people that fought against this global plan, all our work now is cresting right now with Trump. It's all InfoWars building all these years, right then at the level, right when all this hits full power, uh, you know, 86 million viewers a week or whatever before the censorship. I mean, you look at it and you sit back. This is God's plan. I mean, I it, it, if you didn't believe in God before, this will make you believe in God. I just feel sorry for people that don't realize this and who are still sitting on the bench kind of as spectators. Like, they're on our side. They're on their own side, but they still think, oh, Larry Clayman's there or, 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 or Rand Paul's there or Matt Drudge is there. I don't think they get Larry. No, they've got to get in the fight. Then they say, well, what do we do? Well, Alex, you're right. And, and, you know, I was saying before the election, you probably were too. I said, this thing's over, but for the grace of God. I don't see how God could allow Hillary Clinton to become president. He doesn't want to take this country down. So I believe that God had a big role to play. In fact, a major role in Trump's victory. I knew it in my gut Trump was going to win. I mean, because there's still people that love God in this country. Absolutely. And this is why we need to do everything we can to make sure he succeeds and that he's safe and that he's well. People make jokes okay. about that, but there's no debate. He's an imperfect vessel. We all are. He was never a hypocrite. But Trump has 1 billion percent been chosen and risen up. There's only one perfect deity, and that was Jesus, okay, and, and the Father. Everybody has their flaws, for sure. And that's what, of course, the NSA and the CIA and the FBI under Comey and Clapper and the rest of them are trying to do. They're trying to dig things up on the president whether he's done things in the past that he'd rather not do again is irrelevant. What he's done as president is, is remarkable in our lifetime. I'm surprised there isn't more dirt. I mean, he's like, there's really nothing there. No, there, there's nothing there. I mean, you know, I'm sure he regrets any relationships that he had with, with these women or whatever. But look, he did it before he was president. He didn't do it as president. But like King David, and I'm not defending it, but God said, man of his own heart, he killed his best friend in a fit of lust, but later repented and God knew it was real. I mean, and they think we Christians are hypocrites. We're going to hate Trump. He's not perfect. He never said he was perfect. No, he didn't. And, and that's why, if you get back to this concept of the citizens' grand jury, we need to take action now. We can't wait. You know, every day you watch on Fox News and, and others on the conservative side that, hey, there are more documents. Okay, who cares about more documents at this point? 
I care about action. You care about action. So what we've got they've, to allow Come back and do five more minutes because I want to get in as a lawyer, top a constant lawyer, what they've done. Exactly. They, they, they illegally spied. They got caught. They lied to Congress. It's like if you catch a serial killer with 10 dead bodies in their backyard, start the indictments, even if you think there might be 200 more in the forest is what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. That, I mean, that's it. I mean, we've got to do it now. We have no time to do it. And, and All right, well, let's come back, and I'm going to let you get into what you think, Citizen Grand Jury, how we set it up. I'd like to be involved. It just sounds like herding cats to me, but uh, I, I, it needs to be done. I want to step up. I, I know now is the now is the season like like the end of summer, the harvest. Now is maximum push. Ma this is the time of change. This is the crossroads. Maximum push now, and the future will be determined by our actions. Constitutional lawyer, founder of Judicial Watch, Larry Clayman is our guest. He heads up freedomwatchusa.org. We'll open the phones up in the next segment. Let's get to a bunch of news I haven't hit. You know, when I say this, that I'm not the toughest guy around. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't claim I'm, I'm going to go win a UFC championship fighting match. But when when I, I've gotten down and when I didn't start the fight and somebody was, you know, a couple guys would beat me up, slam my head into the ground in a parking lot, I'd black out and you know, put them in the hospital. The cops would ask, how'd you do this to these guys? These guys weigh 250 pounds apiece. You know, one of them's basically getting ready to get put in the ground. I said, I don't know. They started hurting me. And so that's the equation here is that the globalists, they seek power. Those of us that already have innate power with a connection to God, we've already got everything. So we just want to be normal people and live our lives and be left alone. Evil doesn't have it, so they're looking for it. The devil goes about roaring, seeing who he can devour. And it's so cut and dry with all these Hollywood directors and Hollywood producers being pedophiles and just all of it. It's everything I was told by all these old FBI agents and major generals and lieutenant generals when I was growing up. And I, I thought everybody was being exposed to all this. I thought everybody knew about this. But no, obviously people didn't know. And, and see, that's the problem. That's the point we've reached. So they're making their move on Trump because they had all these one-sided deals to bankrupt America so they could dictate the terms of our surrender. But Larry Klayman, who's defeated the NSA in court, nobody else has, and, and, and helped get, you know, the beginnings of the impeachment against, uh, against you know, it's funny, the most successful people never get celebrated in the media. They're the loser. See, when you have the number one show, you're the loser. When you had the success in court, you're the loser. Uh, you, Larry Klayman, you search his name. You know, it's just, that's the sign of success. So in the closing eight minutes we have, Larry, I want to shut up and give you the floor. Citizen Grand Jury, you're trying to convene it either in Texas, Florida, wherever. I might be able to work with you. We'll see about the funding and the issues and the, the, the hoops we go through. But it's definitely a winning scenario. One more, you know, arrow in our quiver here against these people. But then... I wanted you to first talk about M Robert Mueller and 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 just all the things he's done and, and who this collection is and this cabal. And like you said, we've already caught him lying to Congress. We've already caught him uh, illegally spying. They're discredited. So why does the president hold back? Why is Giuliani better than some, but still milk toast? I mean, if, if you were the president's advisor, I know a lot of what we talk about here does get to the president in the form of reports. I'll leave it at that. They, they sent him transcripts. He asked for it. Uh, and I haven't been asked to keep that secret, so I can tell you that. He, he gets reports. I don't know if he reads them all. What would you say to the president? First thing I would say is order the Department of Justice, because the president is technically the head of the Department of Justice. He's the head of the executive branch of government. Order them to start a grand jury with regard to Robert Mueller. Let's start investigating him. Order a grand jury with regard to Hillary Clinton and all of her scandals and Bill Clinton. Same with Comey. Same with Brennan, same with Clapper, and of course, Obama, who was sitting on top of all of this, directing it. And, and by the so, way, how has he gotten paralyzed? Because that's the default thing to do. The president has been paralyzed because he's getting bad advice from his lawyers. Look, one of them, Jay Sekulow, is a nice guy. He's a friend. He's a religious rights lawyer. He's not a criminal defense lawyer. The other one, John Dowd, he was Republican establishment. He's now gone. Now you have Rudy Giuliani, who I think, you know, he was a good lawyer in his day, but he's a little bit over the hill right now. I mean, he's... He's reportedly coming on sometimes on Hannity and having a few drinks, and he said some things that really got the president in trouble. And, and yeah, I he, he field, keeps exactly. Uh, yeah, he, he's promoting himself in, in effect. I mean, this is a, a culmination of his career. We need someone who has only the president's interests at heart, and and that's why it, since the president's not doing it for himself, we have to do it for him, and we have to do it for the American people and for the nation. And we are doing 
that we're proposing with these citizens' grand juries is to do what our founding fathers did, to control our own legal well, system. We'll come back this week or next yeah. week for a full hour on the mechanics and give me a blueprint. And we should talk off air because I mean, I'm all about it and I get it's constitutional and it's a great vehicle. But I agree with you. Like, go back to the biblical thing. Well, who was the guy at Jericho? Couldn't hold his arms up so the people did. We have to do that. We can't expect Trump to do it all, but he has them. I mean, talk as a lawyer, just what they've been caught doing, the deep state, Obama, Susan Rice. I mean, Trump has them by the short hairs. That's why they're so desperate to take him out because they've already been caught so much. He has to move. He has them. He does have them, and he has the power, and he's got to use it. He's got to use it. He's got to take them out before they take him out. But since he's not doing that, we, the American people, have to rise up in his defense, and that's what we're doing, you and I and others, patriots. And you're right. You know, when you do that, you don't go on established cable networks. You have to talk to the American people directly. And that's why if we do this together, Alex, citizens, grand juries, we're going to show the American people that they have the power, that it's not the people, the corrupt reestablishments of both political parties in Washington, D.C., or our corrupt judges on the bench. And most of them, frankly, are corrupt. The president was right when he makes those statements. First president in my lifetime who will call it like it is with regard to the federal judiciary. Most of them are political hacks. There are some good ones, but I've only met maybe four or five in my entire 41-year career. We need well, to take the lawsuits against me. Justices. I hired some of the top law firms, and they go and actually get the transcripts, and they go, yeah, you didn't say the things they're saying. These are fake lawsuits. They say they've never seen anything like this before. That's what I mean. The Democrats are doing stuff that's like never been done before. Well, and they've got these hack judges on the bench that have been appointed by Clinton and Obama. Ninety percent of the judges on the bench are these very partisan political hacks. Look at what this judge, Amy Berman Jackson, is doing to Manafort in Washington, D.C. Put a gag order on him. That's unconstitutional. And let me ask you as a constitutional lawyer, how do they say in the news last week, Oh, we listened to his phone calls with his lawyers and people, and we know his defense, so he wants this court case first, so we don't want that court case first. He claims it's better for him, like it's dirty that something's a better position for him. I mean, it's so many levels. Like, I, 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 I've been reading the news forever. You don't spy on people with their lawyers. Correct, and even the Reagan-appointed judge in Alexandria, Virginia, a trial's going to be starting in a few days against Manafort there. He made some statements that Mueller had exceeded his authority, but then— he chickened out okay, because he's part of the establishment, too. Why is everybody so afraid of Mueller? Because he has the power. And it's not just that they're afraid of him. is that there's this club in Washington. You know, when I ran for the U.S. Senate, I said, I don't want to be a member of the Senate club. I want to take a club to the Senate. You know, they all go to soirees in Georgetown. They have to be socially accepted into these circles. You can see Alan Dershowitz. So they're all you know, runaway trains empowering each other and uh, pissing in America's face. Yeah, they could care less about the president or the country. They, what they care about is enriching themselves. And then the love they show for each other is reflected narcissistic worship on how they're all in a cabal. And they are, in one manner, shape, or form. And I don't know of one congressman or senator, and I've spent time up there in the last few years, uh, who are doing anything courageous. And when you see Bob Goodlatte of the Judiciary Committee, or Trey Gowdy, or others, get on Fox News and talk. They're doing it for themselves. They're not doing it primarily for the country, because if they did, they would be doing what we're proposing to do, bring indictments, force indictments. Yeah, I, I don't get why they don't get the sense of the... Because uh, I'm a constitutionalist, I'm an individualist, but I get a collective. They always want to create a false collective where they tell you what the collective is. No, I'm a real collectivist in that I'm a free marketer. I'm all about individualism, but I believe in the individual sacrificing themselves for the greater good, but directing it themselves, not being directed by some commissar. Does that make sense, Larry? That's what we stand for as a country, individual rights, civil rights. The, and it's right in the Declaration of Independence. We the people, it's in the Constitution, we the people. Uh, we are the con people who are, are the deciders, in the words of George W. Bush in that movie by Oliver Stone. We're the deciders, okay, not them. And now we have to do it for ourselves. We cannot depend on them anymore. They're just well, listen, I'm intrigued. So we should talk soon. Let's talk today off air about trying to launch this. Larry Klayman, uh, FreedomWatchUSA.org. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alice. God bless. That was powerful. All right. Massive amounts of news. Your phone calls. I'll give the number out on the other side. Newswars.com. They hope you don't spread that link. You know, someone very profoundly once said, 
many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. I'm a nasty woman. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Hey, how would you like to take InfoWars with you wherever you go? Well, now you can do just that with the new official InfoWars app. And here's the best part. It is absolutely free. At the Apple Store and Google Play, you can join the InfoWar today. Check it out right now at InfoWars.com forward slash app. It's the InfoWars official app taken on the globalist at point blank range. And with your help spreading it, and with your help downloading it, we are unstoppable. <laughs> 